Hello world, Natarajan here. Today's video is about the progress made on the suburban line corridor 2, Malige line of the Bengaluru suburban line project being executed by K-Ride. These videos were captured over different days by travelling on Indian Railways train in the first week of November. The videos would be a mix of regular and time-lapse format in order to reduce the video length, thus making the video crisp and short. I've recorded the videos on the side the suburban alignment comes. We'll also mention where the Indian Railways and suburban alignment will crisscross. So requesting you to watch the video without skipping. We'll be starting from Seoul Devanali and going all the way till the end point, Beniginahalli. Apologies if in case I pronounce the station names incorrectly. Initially, the depot for this line was planned near Eshanpur in the Air Force area, but eventually ended up near Seoul Devanali. And that is the reason why the video is starting from Soldivanali. Currently only depot is planned here and the tender for the same has been released. A future suburban station is planned at Soldivanali as well. Depot area just before Chikpanwara Indian Railway Station, there will be a ramp and a short elevated section. Initially when Chikpanwara was made as the end point of this line, the station was planned on the ground level. But after moving the depot to Soldivanali, the Chikpanwara station is coming up on an elevated level due to shortage of land. All the station on this route will have two lines with one serving up and one serving down trains. The Chikmanara suburban station will come above the existing Indian Railway station building. The station will have a dedicated platform for up and down line. Notice the retaining wall being constructed for the ramp. The line will come next to Indian Railway's track by this ramp. Most of the minor bridge work has been completed from Chikmanara to Eshanpur. Land leveling is done wherever land has been acquired. Most of the land needed for this project were with the Indian Railways and they were handed over to K-Ride. The project of this Malige line is mainly getting delayed due to obtaining land from other parties. Right after this curve will be the Maidarahaldi suburban station. The station will have a dedicated platform for up and down line. All the level crossings on the suburban alignment will be eliminated by the K-Ride. Either by a flyover or a road under bridge. There is also another special case between Ebal and Banaswadi which we will see later in the video. Here the project which actually started at a good pace has been slowed down. A small patch of air force land is needed here for putting the suburban lines. Hopefully all the land issues are sorted out by December as informed by the officials. This is the proposed location for Shetty Ali railway station. The station will have a common platform also known as island platform for both lines. I will be using island platform term henceforth in the video to indicate common platform. The work recently started on this small stretch after the land was handed over. Now the next particular stretch is having a dispute. Work started but was halted as the owner of the land decided to fence his boundary. You can actually notice the blue sheets in the video which forms the boundary of the private owner. There is some settlement issue is the info I have. Hopefully it is rectified soon. From here, the alignment moves slightly away from the Indian Railways tracks as Indian Railways has future plans in this stretch. Location of the future proposed Jalali station comes here. A new wall was built for the Air Force here after obtaining land from them. Once we cross the outer ring road, the suburban alignment will climb a ramp to become elevated. The sleeper factory has been demolished and the land is being leveled for future IR work and suburban railway. The corridor 1, that is the Sampige line, will go over Indian Railways and Malige line here on an elevated stretch. Both Sampige and Malige line will run parallel to each other till Eshanpur. The elevated lines will run next to Eshanpur yard. The pier works of Malige line are going on now, not clearly visible but you can notice it. Interesting thing about Malige line is that suburban trains will undergo reversal at Eshanpur to proceed towards a bald side. One end of Eshanpur suburban station will be a dead end. In order to avoid trains crisscrossing tracks to change direction, K-Ride has come up with a solution. Let me explain with this simple image. In double line section, if trains have to undergo reversal, this is how it happens. Generally, trains in India move forward on the left side. In the image, there are three stations, A, B and C. B is a dead end station and trains have to reverse the direction to proceed forward. We have to discuss few scenarios here. 1, 2, 3 and 4 indicate the points are also known as turnouts which help the trains change track. We will be using term 
points ends forth in the video. Please note there are multiple ways in which points can be laid. I've just used one such method to make the explanation simple. Scenario 1. Train going from station A to station C. The train starts from station A, enters the station B via points 1, 2 and 3. Now in order to enter the leftmost line to continue the journey to station C, the train has to go via points 3, 2 and 1. Scenario 2. Train going from station C to station A. Train starts from C and in order to enter station B, train has to use points 2, 3 and 4. The train is already on the leftmost line for moving towards station A, hence it crosses just point 4 to continue its journey forward. This layout will work good when the frequency of trains are less. While in suburban, where there will be trains coming to station every few minutes, it will not work efficiently as trains will have to wait for other trains to clear the path. In order to overcome this, Karen has decided to run the up and down line of Malige lines at two levels, which will help avoid crisscrossing of lines. Ashenpur will also act as an interchange station for Malige and Sampike lines. If you take Indian Railway tracks as ground level, this is how the Ashenpur suburban station will look. Ground and first floor for ticket counters and other amenities. Second floor will have one platform of Malige line. The third floor will have three tracks, double platform for Sampige line and one platform for Malige line. Now after reversal, the lines will go over Indian Railway's track at different levels before coming to common point. The alignment from Eshanpur to Lotevgali will be an elevated section and most of the land here belongs to Indian Railways. This was the old narrow gauge line alignment of Bengaluru Chintamani Kolar Mangarpet line. I have not covered the stretch in this video, apologies for that. I will walk along this path and share the progress in the next update video for this line. Eshanpur to Matikire is actually proposed as double decker section with road at level 1 and suburban line at level 2. Also Matikire station will come on this stretch. The Malige line comes next to Indian Railways track just before Lottegulda Halli. The track will continue to be elevated here. The Sampige line will also run parallel here but no interchange station has been proposed for now. The elevated section continues at Lottegulda Halli railway station as well. There is a proposed future station here which is yet to be named. The elevated suburban will continue on the right almost to Lebal. Just before Ebal Indian Railway Station, the alignment will switch over to the left. The suburban lines will go above the Indian Railway tracks here. works can also be seen here. After Ebal Indian Railway Station, the suburban tracks will come down a ramp just before Ebal fly over and the suburban station of Ebal will come here. Station will be right next to Indian Railway tracks with two platforms. One of the interesting sections of the suburban railway, Ebala to Banaswadi. Railways were actually working on Eshinpur Chenasandra doubling project here and this stretch is packed with residential area. Since it's difficult to get land for making approach road for either flyover or the road under bridge, K-Ride came up with the solution of raising the track bed here. Indian Railways stopped the doubling work and K-Ride is currently taking care of it. The current Indian Railways track will be abandoned. K-Ride will raise the track bed here by around 6 meters. Retaining wall for the same is being done right now. Once the retaining wall is completed, 
the track bed will be raised for laying one railway line first and that line will be handed over to Indian Railways for temporary operation. The current Indian Railway track will be dismantled and a retaining wall of the same height will be built next to the dismantled Indian Railways track alignment. The track bed will now be completely filled and in total there will be four tracks now between Ebala and Banaswadi. There will be ramps both at Ebala and Banaswadi side for trains to come to ground level. Once this work is completed, K-Ride will hand over the rightmost double track to Indian Railways and the leftmost double track will be used by the K-Ride for the suburban trains. All the level crossings will now be under the railway tracks. This method requires less land compared to the traditional method. You can also notice RCC boxes have been completed at most of the places for the roads. They will be inserted below the tracks during this process. You can also observe many houses being demolished along the way. Looks like land has been handed over quickly to K-Ride in this particular stretch. Hopefully this space continues. Apologies for not recording video properly as it was raining continuously here. There will be two stations coming up here, Kanakanagar Suburban Station and Nagavara Suburban Station. There is also proposed Kaveri Nagar Station. The Banaswadi Suburban Station will come right next to Indian Railway Station. Many houses here are being demolished for the station work. All the stations from Mibbal and Banaswadi will have two platforms. Probably the biggest delay in project will happen at Seva Nagar Suburban Railway Station which is planned to come right below the flyover currently running from Chanasandra and Bengaluru East. The station will have an island platform. The current flyover will be demolished and a new circular design one has to be built to make way for the suburban station. The work is yet to start and I have no information on when this will begin. The road sees traffic throughout the day will be a tough one to reroute as one of the roads connect to SMIT Bengaluru station. If you have noticed all along the video, most of the minor bridge work where the land is available have been completed on this alignment. From here, very little progress has been made. The tracks actually have to run on the army area. I believe they are probably waiting for the land to start the work here. After army land, you can actually see the work going on. Also notice demolition of buildings happening here as well. And this is the location of Kasturi Nagar Suburban Station, the penultimate station on the line. For this end of the line, pit lines, stabling lines and shunting lines will come here. The retaining wall and the track bend ends here and from here the suburban tracks will be elevated with piers till the end of the line. There will be two major works which has to be completed here. One is crossing the Indian Railway line and the road 
which goes to Krishnajapuram coming from Alsuru side. Currently no work is happening here. They are probably waiting for the blue line metro work to finish. The corridor 4 Kanaka line will join us and run parallel from here till Benaganahalli suburban station. The last station of the line, Benaganahalli, will come here. It will have an island platform. The station will be an interchange station for Maligai and Kanaka line. The Maliga line will end here with the shunting neck. With this, we have come to end of this video. Hope the video was informative. If you have any questions on this line, do put it down in the comment section. We'll make a replay video on that. And also please note that all the details which I've spoken in this video are available on KRide website. Only thing is you'll have to sit and go through uh, tons of data to get the information needed. See you soon.